I want the audience to know this is I found a pattern with, uh, and I shared this with Porges and the Unite team, uh, the company that puts out um, the SSP. I've discovered so this is, um, I've come close to close to almost a thousand patients I've seen with SSP. So it's uh, a tend to be a big number. Quite, yeah, it's, it's, uh, someone someone it's mentioned it to me. That's why. Um, so I, I didn't realize. So uh, in the past two years, I've been only using it for two years. So I don't want to say that I'm an expert in it. I have, I have a decent amount of experience in it. I'll just leave it at that. I've discovered three main categories that when folks listen to the SSP, so three main categories, and again, if whether, whether it's addiction, whether it's trauma, whether it's chronic pain, to me, it's the same brain network, networks, different shelves of the pantry mm-hmm. uh, of the brain. Uh, and so with that said, with that foundation in mind, I've noticed three categories. I've noticed that when people get done with the SSP treatment, I find out that they tend to report, this is by accident, and then I start to track it. Mm-hmm. They, start, they report at least, and again, I'm being arbitrary here, about a 50% reduction in anxiety. Now, anxiety, as Porsche and I have talked about, and sort of my colleagues, is a psychological word that we made up to show that, you know, it's, this is what we're feeling. Mm-hmm. But, but the proper word should be threat physiology, right? So, and that's the Porges language is what I like to call it. But I've noticed three categories. People report a reduction in anxiety. People, we're talking generalized anxiety, just intense anxiety, just worry, 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 or uh, rumination, and even obsession. I've noticed a reduction in anxiety, first category that I've noticed, that what the effects are. The second category of benefits of the SSP I've noticed is a reduction in the pain intensity. Now, there are some exceptions where this complete, and this is going to be very difficult for anyone to really appreciate or understand, complete resolution of the pain. We're talking. No pain. Gosh, my migraine is gone. I'm no longer having daily headaches. That intense burning pain in my lower extremity, it's, um, it's actually just a cramp right now. There is it. And so it kind of blew me away. And I thought, oh, maybe people are making this up. So I was skeptical. And I kept on asking that. So reduction in anxiety, reduction in pain intensity is what I call it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then the third category, which is by accident, I, what I do is I have patients um, when they get down with their each session. And so I do a 10-day a protocol. And mm-hmm. this might be too much details for the audience. But ultimately, is it's traditionally done twice a day for five days. AM and PM, for example, that's a that's a five day protocol. So most of my patients with trauma could not tolerate five days. It was too mm. much. So um, with Porges's blessing, I got ten days and I got that done. And I noticed that the third category, besides anxiety reduction, pain intensity reduction, I got a report of clarity. And I didn't know quite. I didn't know what the word clarity means, but mm. but what does it mean? And I found out. When people were making decisions, like I'll give you an example of someone that comes to mind right now, someone with using, and the audience will may know this, is the MMED morphine uh, milligram equivalent was close to about 600 MMED. That's a very high for, for a long user, uh, long-term opioids for low back pain and fibromyalgia. Mm-hmm. The person was given this over years. And this person was in a domestic violence relationship. Um, and, and, and the audience probably knows this, and mm-hmm. forgive me for repeating this, is psychological uh, um, and emotional domestic violence is domestic violence. And it's not just physical, right. right? So with that said, she was able to make a decision. She goes, this is not a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. And so there was clarity. And I was, a little, so I thought, oh, it's just a fluke. But then I heard someone's like, this job is unhealthy. So, so I often forewarn patients as you will have clarity that may show up. This is Lynn Fraser with the Radical Recovery Summit airing January 13th to 22nd, 2023. Please go to RadicalRecoverySummit.com to view the clips and the interviews.